Hello, welcome to No Bone Wrapping. This time, it's David Lynch's A Razorhead, one of the oddest films in the world, and one of the best films in the world, in my opinion. I love it. In black and white, from many years ago. Now, this is the Citerion collection. Now, I can't work out if this is a Blu-ray or a 4K, so we're going to investigate. Now, it says Blu-ray Special Edition, Director Approved, so Blu-ray. But on Amazon it said it was 4K. Blu-ray Edition it is a Blu-ray. I thought it was a 4K, oh damn it. Region B, so it's another Blu-ray. So what's the difference between this and the normal Blu-rays? Anyway, it's got extras on it. It's got all of his early films. And they've redone the sound, apparently. So it's just like, it's so tyranny. Is it it's like a deluxe company or something? It makes things better. Not that cheap, this thing, if you look it up. So let's see what we get in here. So it comes in a case, sort of, uh, there we are, a sleeve, sorry. That's okay, that will last. Oh, there he is. He's waiting to put the brakes on. He helps you get there at the beginning, and then he puts the brakes on at the end to stop it all. But he's waiting. It's waiting for the moment. Reminds me of Fad Gadget a little bit. Ah, and there's the egg that blows up at the end as well. There's all sorts of strange things going on in this film. If you haven't seen it, A Razorhead is uh, one of them films where you sort of watch it and you think, what the hell was that? And it's one of the most rewatchable films out there. It's, it's so rewatchable. So this is a Blu-ray then. Not a 4K, because it's very confusing. It says it's scanned from 4K, which makes you think they've done a 4K scan on it. Yet this, by the look of it, is a Blu-ray. At least I think it is. It's very hard to tell, isn't it? he have got his bed. I mean, who has a bed with, like, an old plant, which I don't know if it's dormant for the winter or not, but instead of putting it in a plant pot, you just just leave the earth just on a clump on the table. Which sort of looks like a mountain, like a little grassy mountain. It's just so, so odd, isn't it? And I mean, in his top drawer, he has a, a bowl of water and chucks some in. He's like, well, what's that doing in there? <laughs> it's just a very worried expression from Jack Nance through most of this film. And hardly any talking. Is that bad? So the story is very loosely that uh, he he has a, a girlfriend he hasn't seen for a while, finds out that she's pregnant, and gets invited round to be told by the parents and, uh, and her that she's going to have a baby. So they get a flat together. I mean, is this just sounds so normal? Me saying this, is it, even that is just so weird. Even his journey there with all the noises, industrial noises, and he steps in a puddle, and he finally gets there. Then then the mother starts going weird, and she has to have her hair combed. No, the girl has to have her hair combed, and then Bill goes on about when he was a plumber. Uh, and then they have man-made chickens for lunch or tea, which is tiny chickens about this big. When you go to try and eat them, the legs start moving backwards and forwards, and blood comes out. <laughs> At least I think it's blood, because it's in black and white. And the mother makes a strange noise, and that's just one part of it. It's a very odd film. So we get this nice book clip. Ah, oh, that's nice. Oh, he looks so young there. And have you seen him in Twin Peaks? You know, he died before they finished the second lot of Twin Peaks. He looks so young. It's so atmospheric, this film. There's so... 
you know, the Elephant Man sort of hints at it, where you get some noises, like the lady in the ele in the radiator. You, you get a few little noises in in the Elephant Man, but this is the one for a, the real industrial sounds and hisses and love it. It's quite a oh, there he is as a young man. I think this was a. Well, I don't know exactly the story to it, but I think he's got an Arts Council grant and was his main, his first real go at doing a film. And still one of my favourites. I love this. Oh, this is a really nice. I've never seen these before. I've never seen these pictures before. So there's a, a lot of reading. So basically there's a book to go with it. Wow. I mean, it's called a razor head for all of us in the UK here. It would have been called rubber head over here because what happens is in one part, his head comes off and um, his head is sold, he's grabbed by a kid, he runs off with it and he goes to a pencil machine uh, firm and sells the head to the uh, the boss and then the operator of the pencil machine, might be in here, uh, makes you know those little rubbers on the top of pencils out of his head, he starts drilling his head and, and putting those bits onto the top for rubbers <laughs> and that's why it's called a razor head I thought it was like take something away head, but it's actually rubber head. <laughs> As in, we make pencil top rubbers out of your head. Yep, that's how weird. Oh, there is the pencil machine. Yep, that's the pencil machine. Lots of nice mechanical and electromechanical noises. Love that sort of thing. Right, so there's a proper interview going on here. God, that David Lynch. I'm surprised he's still alive. The amount he smokes. I mean, when I saw him last time on the extras for the, the second Twin Peaks, I mean, he had like three packs of cigarettes and he was just like, he, I think he must be a chain smoker. How he's still alive is beyond me. Wow. Oh, this is really, it's really nice to get the pictures. Well, in heaven... Everything is fine in heaven. Everything is fine in heaven. Everything is fine. Mm -hmm, I got my. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's, it's a nice booklet about the transfer. A razor head is presented as original aspect ratio. Black bars at the top and bottom of the screen are normal for this format. Supervised director David Lynch. This new digital transfer is created in 4K resolution on laser graphics director film scanner from the original camera negative. Thousands of instances of dirt, debris, scratches, jitter were manually removed. Wow, well, they've really gone for it. The stereo soundtrack was created by Lynch and sound editor Eleanor Spelt in 1994 from the original 76 monural mix stems. Additional digital restoration was performed in 2014 using Pro Tools HD to manually remove any sounds not intended to be part of the original soundtrack. Okay. So is it a 4K or not? I still can't tell. I'm going to, have to actually finish this, go off and, and put it on and see if it's 4K or not, because I actually cannot tell from this, which is one of the reasons for doing this video, is it 4K or is it Blu-ray? I mean, look at that. Who would have that in their room? It's like a tombstone behind, isn't it? Nuclear explosion picture. Anyway, well, from reading that, 
it looks like it is a 4K, but it can't be because there's a region there. Look, region B. And the 4K discs are not regional. Blu-ray editions. It's Blu-ray editions. It must be Blu-ray. Yeah, it's got to be that like Blu-ray edition. Yeah, it says about how it was done in 4K. So why, why have I got a Blu-ray disc and not and not a 4K disc? You did it from 4K and then then sampled it down to Blu-ray. Why not bring a 4K disc out? I thought. Oh, Hmm. Anyway, I guess it's a more cleaned up version and they've done stuff with the sight and sound of this. So it'd be interesting comparing it to my other Blu-ray. But it looks like that this is a Blu-ray disc. It must be, as it's got the region on it. Which is kind of, is it a 4K or it's a bit misleading, isn't it? So it looks like this is a redone version onto Blu-ray and then they'll probably sell it again later on in a 4k version that's a real oh it is look what no, I'm missing it that there it is there's the Blu-ray logo it is a Blu-ray damn it I was hoping this was going to be a 4k release it's already got Blu-ray oh well If you're interested to compare it to everyone, the booklet's really nice. Booklet is really nice. Some nice pictures there. Well, there we are. So that's a razor head on. We'll just see. It says Blu-ray there, doesn't it? Director approved Blu-ray. So it's a it's a cleaned up, done in 4K, and then for some reason, downscaled to Blu-ray instead of releasing it on a 4K disc. I don't know why. Uh, it certainly costs enough to be a 4K release, but it's a Blu-ray. Damn it. Anyway, there we go. Another Razorhead to add to my collection. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.